What's up guys, Asian here again with another PTS video. Uh, and this sort of also carries over to the live server as well. Uh, and this is taking a look at the Master's Bow. So I am in the process of going over the Master's Bow versus Maelstrom Bow revisit uh, just because they did fix the Maelstrom Bow on the PTS or you say they have, uh, so I should be able to get a more accurate comparison now. Uh, I do have to kind of work out the rotation a little bit just because Endless Hail is now 12 seconds compared to 10 seconds, uh, but I should have rotation out banged out pretty quickly here. Um, but one of the things that uh, people have kind of been wondering is whether or not the bonus weapon damage that you get from poison injection actually is affected by weapon damage modifiers. So we already know that sets like Netch, uh, Spell Strategist, Automatons, they are all affected by their respective modifiers. So for Spell Strategist, that 500, web, that 500 spell damage is affected by your magic uh, damage modifiers. So things like Major Sorcery, Minor Sorcery, those all affect the 500, so it does get that additional bonus there. So the question is, does the Master's Bow follow the same sort of pattern here? Uh, there is no reason to assume why it would not. However, this is ESO, and there are a couple of sets out there that may or may not be acting the way that we expect. So it's always good to double check just to see uh, you know, how things are operating here. So testing out whether or not it's affected by things like Major Brutality is slightly challenging, uh, but it is not hard by any means. It just is a little bit more work and you kind of have to uh, kind of know what you're looking for here. So first of all, here's the setup here, and then we'll go over the math and what we're going to be looking for when we do this setup. So the setup right here uh, is basically more or less a completely empty, or I should say naked, uh, tune here. So I have no armor at all. The only thing I have equipped is a Master's Bow. It's infused, so I don't even have anything like Nurnhone or anything like that. And the enchantment is a hardened enchant, just to make sure, completely out of the way, no enchant damage whatsoever is going to mess things up here. Um, so we have our max stamina, and we have our weapon damage. The other thing I did, too, was I also took out all of my blue CPs. So you can see I have 270 blue CPs here. Uh, that way we can get rid of things like Mighty, additional penetration, just so that way we have just the raw numbers there, so it's a lot easier to deal with. The other thing that we are also doing here uh, is we are going to be using Endless Hail, and that's just because Endless Hail and Arrow Barrage were buffed, at the very least the ticks were buffed, um, so the ticks do about 11% more damage here. What that means for the actual coefficient equation is kind of up in the air, but I just basically took it and multiplied it by 1.11, as you'll see uh, in a few minutes here. So we are going with Endless Hail just because Arrow Barrage was buffed by a further 20%, and I'm not 100% certain if that's additive or multiplicative, so I didn't bother to go into that much detail said just stick with endless hail that way we know that there's only that one 11 percent modifier there as for our actual testing scenarios here i am going to be using the robust humanoid dummy here and that's just to kind of knock out uh the trial dummy thing because the trial dummy does give us a couple of buffs here and there um and it has less resistances so using the robust humanoid dummy i have no penetration whatsoever so that means i know that this dummy has 18,200 penetration so i know exactly how much my damage is going to get mitigated by those resistances so that way i have a consistent number here um and because i'm naked uh, the only thing i'll be adding in in terms of weapon damage modifiers is going to be major brutality from my weapon damage potion so in this instance this means we should have three numbers that we should be looking for here one is the base damage that is without the poison injection applied so this is basically no master's bow just raw and this hell damage the second scenario uh, will be when we have poison injection on the dummy and we use endless hail there are two possible numbers that we should be hitting if we have major brutality up one of them is obviously going to be uh, if it is not affected by modifiers and the second one will be if it is affected by modifiers so how do we know which number is which well that is where the coefficients come into play here so real quick jumping over to our um, other screen here so this website here is on UESP, and this is basically all the skill coefficients in the game uh, as far as we know. Uh, some of these might be slightly inaccurate. Again, these are just sort of best estimations. We don't know exactly, specifically, what the formula is for each of these abilities, but it is a very close approximation. The one that we're interested in is going to be Endless Hail 4, which is right here. Um, so this uh, is going to be the one that we're going to be taking a look at here. And then if we go over and look at our you basically have three different scenarios here. So we have the stamina modifier here, which is 26,247. We have the weapon damage modifier here, which would be 1911 once I have my major brutality active. 
we're multiplying this by 1.11. This is, again, we're not 100% certain how the 11% increase per tick actually counts, but we're just going to say it just multiplies the entire thing by 1.11. So to kind of get a rough estimation here, and then we also multiply it by the actual mitigation that the dummy has due to its resistances. Again, I have zero penetration, so it's getting the full 18,200 resistances, which basically means it will be mitigating uh, just over 35% of my damage. So that's where the 0 0.646 comes from, and that'll give us our final value uh, that we should be hitting on the dummy itself. Uh, now I will have to move my webcam over so you can see the actual values here. In one second there we go so uh, again these values are approximations the actual damage we're going to be seeing on the PTS and on live is going to vary a little bit here um, but we should be seeing about 530 just plain endless hail now when we apply the poison injection with the master's bow we have one of two potential options here the Master's Bow gives an additional 301 weapon damage to anybody, uh, to all of your abilities, as long as whatever you're hitting has Poison Injection debuff on them. So if it is not affected by Major Brutality, then it's just a flat increase of 301, and that is the second value here. The 301 is not affected by any modifiers, so we should see 567. Now, if it is affected by modifiers, that means that 301 is multiplied by 1.2, because again, we're just looking at Major Brutality, which is just a 20% increase. Our hits should increase by a small amount, 470, 574. Hopping back over to ESO, we will uh, basically now, more or less, have to take a look at how close these approximations are, whether they're slightly under or slightly over. So again, uh, the value that we should be seeing when we use Endless Hill right now should be about 530. So again, this is just Endless Hill, plain, naked. And you can see here, I do have the comment metrics log running, and we're looking at 488, uh, just base damage. So it does seem like our estimation is slightly overestimating things. Oh wait, it didn't, uh, didn't use my potion, so that would explain why it's so low. Alright, so we're looking at 526, so just a little bit overestimation. So we know that if we're hitting anything above 567, then it is affected by modifiers. If it's hitting below 567, then it's a good chance that it is not being affected by modifiers. So here we go. Poison injection is on and we're going to do endless hail. Notice I'm not light attacking because I don't want to include that additional passive there. And we are hitting for 569 on our base hits, which is higher than the estimated 567. We already know that our estimation is slightly over, um, just because 526 compared to the base estimation of 530 is a little bit low. So because we're hitting with 4569, which is obviously higher than 567, we can conclude that the Master's Bow, that 301 weapon damage, is affected by weapon damage modifiers. So again, we only have Major Brutality here, and that estimated value was 574. We got 569, which is higher than the lower value, 567. So again, conclusion is weapon damage modifiers do affect the master's bow. Uh, whether or not this is important, kind of up to you to decide. Um, but some people were under the impression that it's not affected, and here we have proven that it is affected by weapon damage modifiers, just like spell strategist, just like automaton, and Natchez touch, and all those other modifiers. So. There you go, that is it for this video. Hope you guys found this informative. Be on the lookout for the revisit of the Master's Bow versus the Maelstrom Bow uh, on the PTS uh, towards the end of this week. Again, hope you guys found this informative, and I'll see you guys in the next dungeon.